to our online Sunday school. We're really excited that you can join us today. So over the next few weeks, we are going to be looking at some parables that Jesus shared. Oh, uh, what's a parable? Well, it's a story that has a special and sometimes secret meaning. And often Jesus used them to teach people about the kingdom of heaven and how people who are part of the kingdom of heaven should live. Oh, so does that include you and me? Yeah, it includes you and me. And it also includes you kids, anybody who's part of God's family. Okay kids, so today we're going to look at the parable of the farmer and the seeds. Oh, that's the one about the farmer who sows the seeds on the different soils. That's the one. So let's check out this video to see the full story. Stories of the Bible. The Parable of the Farmer. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. One day, Jesus went and sat beside the sea. A great crowd gathered around him. Oh, hey, everyone. So he got in a boat and told them many things in parables. Okay, listen to this. He told them this story. A farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil among rocks. The seed began to grow quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plant soon wilted under the hot sun, and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil, this seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. When Jesus had said this, he called out, Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Hey, Jesus! Yeah? Later, the disciples came to Jesus and asked what this parable meant. Jesus said, The farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message, only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are treated badly for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life and the desire for other things. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Wow, that video explained the parable really well. Yeah, you know how when we put plants in the garden, they need certain things to help them grow. Do you mean like sunlight? Yep, sunlight and soil and water. Oh, so in the video, Jesus' parable reminds us that we need to prepare our own soil so that Jesus' word can grow strong in us and so that we can share it with other people. Exactly. So like how plants grow towards the sunlight and long for its warmth and the strength it gives them, as children of God, we should lean towards the light which is God's word for guidance and strength. Yeah, God's word gives us warmth and comfort in times of struggle and it leads us to on a clear path in times of doubt. 
The Bible is the source of many things that we need in our Christian life. The Bible tells us in Psalms 119 verse 105, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light to my path. And then another thing plants need is good soil. That gives them the food they need. For Christians, our soil is Jesus because he nurtures us and he supports us. And he also gives us a place to extend our roots safely. And again, the Bible tells us this in John 15, 4. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. The third thing that plants really need is water. Yeah, and Christians need water to thrive as well. Like our water is when we spend time with other Christians. Yeah, God doesn't want us to be alone. He wants us to help and encourage each other and to spend time with each other. And again, the Bible tells us this in Matthew 18, verse 20 to 22. It says, For where two or three come together in my name, there I am with them. Well, so as Christians, we need God's word, Jesus living in us, and to spend time with other Christians to help us grow as Jesus' children. Exactly. And you know what? Another part of helping a plant grow is to keep the weeds out of the garden. And that's the same with us in our Christian living. Yeah, our weeds can be things like friends that are bad influences, or getting angry or bitter, thinking bad thoughts, doing the wrong thing, or anything that goes against what the Bible tells us. Yeah, it is so important to make sure we pull out our weeds before they grow too big and strangle the good seeds in our life, like what Jesus says in his parable. So our memory verse today is found in Luke chapter 8 verse 15 and it says, And what is the seed that fell on good ground? That is like those who hear God's teaching with a good, honest heart. They obey God's teaching and patiently produce good fruit. Now let's say it together. Kids, join us this time. Luke 8, 15. And what is the seed that fell on the good ground? That is like those who hear God's teaching with a good, honest heart. They obey God's teaching and patiently produce good fruit. Luke 8, 15. Make sure you practice this at home. Kids, we are going to do an activity to help us remember the parable of the farmer and the seed. So all you will need is some paint, some textures, the flower pot template, which you can find under the video, and an art smock. First, we are going to paint over our hand and press it above the flower pot to make a plant shape. Our second step is on top of each finger, we're going to use our finger pins to make flower petals. So you'll have to paint the one finger for each petal and put it around. So it should look something like this. So the next step is we're going to write on the flower pot down here our memory verse which is Luke 8 15 and we're going to write they obey God's teaching and patiently produce good fruit and then you're done so you can use this to help you remember to keep your soil well watered and looked after Thank you for showing us your way and thank you that we can know the gospel. We pray for everyone who's watching this today that your word would grow to be strong and fruitful in all of us and help us to share your gospel with others. In 
in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So kids, we really enjoyed spending this time with you. And we know it has been a difficult time not being able to see your friends and go out like normal. But we want you to know that we are praying for all of you. And remember that God is always looking after you. And we do look forward to seeing you again when the time is right. But in the meantime, we'll see you here each week. And we hope you learned something new today. And remember, if you are older, there is the worksheet available for you on the Facebook group. And we hope you all have a good week and God bless you all. Bye. Bye.